So um, I just want to show some progress on the basement here. I'm having problems with the QR marker working uh, quite right. So uh, I'm manually adjusting this. So here I am looking out the window. I can uh, change the transparency. So this is the soffit that's putting in the beam. And then a uh, second soffit over here which catches the ductwork here, as well as the ductwork at this end. I could have two separate chases, but instead I chose to have a single one that runs across, just to be a cleaner look. Here is the bathroom. So if I want to, I can do a cutaway now, and I can have the model kind of cut back and see just what's here. So it's separately from controlling Transparency is controlling kind of a section cut view of everything. So uh, while I'm here, I'm going to turn this transparency down a bit. So uh, we're going to have a linear drain, so there won't be a curve in our shower, so the shower is not correct. Our toilet is there. And the sink is just about in the right spot. What was originally a closet in the bedroom is now going to be a closet uh, in the bathroom here. All right, we're still okay there. We shifted a bit. Uh, big Murphy bed on the wall here. It's, I have this Murphy bed table combination, but uh, those have been pretty expensive and a little bit limiting. So they're they are nice, but um, there's a lot of sit stand desks I can have that are on wheels that can slide through the doorway. Um, when uh, we have someone stay here. If, you know, it could fit in the corner of the room, but it might be better to slide it out. Um, all right, we still look okay here. So uh, the two-door, two-foot door in this closet stays out of the way of the two-and-a-half-foot door coming into the room. And uh, the column uh, is buried. Let's see if I just go to the model. If I go, well, either way, the column is hidden. If I go around here in the corner of this, there's our column. I'm a few inches off, it uh, looks like, but not bad. All right, so this is where we see if our model was rotated incorrectly, and if it was, I can try to adjust it on the fly. That's not bad. I'm showing the column wrapped in wood. So this will be demoed soon, and then um, the existing laundry room will show up there. I'm going to try this section cut again. That's nice. So that'll be a closet back there, two-foot door. We had to inset this wall here because of this um, drain that's in here. It was that or have a really low soffit. Um, high ceiling here in the center. It's low again for another beam along with um, ductwork. And then uh, it'll be low again um, over the existing finished basement. And we'll be able to see the stairs up there, which I can't see now, but it's just on the other side of the wall. And uh, I'm going to go into the model here. So there's no longer going to be a door. Originally, we had a door just to the left of the stair when we went down. But now that's going to be open. And um, we'll have, we don't need vented doors to the furnace. We'll be able to have solid doors and we can have some sound insulation. Then, So you can walk straight back to the bathroom. Uh, of course, I, the bathroom also had a door from the bedroom office, which was here. So you can see the doorway of that now. We'll do what we did before, cutting back with the cross section. That's pretty nice. So this is that kind of reverse section cut, which uh, in this use case isn't as useful. I'm only showing things close to me. 
All right, so one area we haven't looked yet is over here. Surprisingly, we're not, we were getting out of drifting on this before, and it's off a little bit here, but it's not horrible. Um, I think having more studs, not just a blank empty um, area is helping. So this isn't necessarily maybe the best approach to do, but I'm going to go to um, place model manual fine-tuned and I'm just going to try to rotate a bit to see if I can do that without messing up the side. Um, the right way to do this is multiple QR codes, um, not what I'm doing now because this is kind of like you're fighting, you know, it's kind of, it's just not a good way to do it. Um, okay, uh, these this window here in reality actually is a few inches off of this window which makes this chase confusing. Um, or, or this uh, soffit. Um, so that soffit, uh, there's ductwork behind there, but there's also, it's going to be a little dark to see this at night. Um, but there's some drains over there by the window, and the wall has to hang from above, and they needed something. So um, instead of having this soffit die into the end, like what happens here, it, it bends the corner, and then it runs into this um, wall over here. So the wall's gonna be in line with these studs uh, with just a large closet that we'll probably, you know, walk into and it has like a big C-shaped shelves in there. But it's looking pretty good. see how far off I am when I get back here it should be pretty bad because I've done all this manually moving of the model this opening right now is wider than the door so that's actually not a problem yep now we're off 